Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, I'm Crixis and uh, this week I am going to show you Upgrade Art Subscription Box. So this is a mystery art subscription box from Germany. I never heard of them before until they approached me. So they sent me this free box. Um, although I'm not sponsored, they just sent me to review it. And I am super excited because I don't have any expectations. I have opened uh, some scroll box from UK company before, some two or three years ago. So uh, it's been a while <laughs> since I opened any subscription box. So this is exciting. And also this is uh, upgrade number 30. So they have done already 30 months, which is a little bit more than two years. And uh, yeah, so this is February edition. So this was supposed to come last month, but it came now. And uh, I also did some research. And if you want to buy any of these subscription boxes from their website, you can get one month subscription for 22 euros and three month subscription for 64. So yeah, and also I have a coupon code. They made one. And if you add Crixis 15, then you can get 15% off of your first purchase. So you can get either one or three months purchase. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's let's do unboxing. And uh, after unboxing, I will do also some swatching. And I think I will also do illustration. I want to create something new and I already have some ideas. So yeah, grab yourself a tea or coffee, or any drink. <laughs> and yeah, let's enjoy the unboxing. So I'm super, super excited to open it up. And this feels like a treasure box. Um, you can see here is like, a, I actually don't know the name in English, but uh, like a, a lock hole. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Here it says art, art supply subscription, upgrade art. So I'm super excited. I actually, to be honest, I secretly checked one thing. I uh, I didn't saw all the supplies, but I I saw the picture online with uh, gouache paints. So I know that there will be gouache paints inside, which is super exciting. But yeah, I kind of spoiled a little joy, but um, there will be other things, which I don't know what is else included in this box. So yeah. I am excited to show you everything and swatch everything. Um, this is the opening. Uh, cast off, loosen the lines is the text over here. Oh, <laughs> well, this was success. It usually doesn't happen so easy. Uh, there's like a text here. It's really well thought box i would say even like the presentation and it says you are getting closer thank you for having you on board mate so, okay so it's time for art the box looks violet inside i can see already i have three brushes up here and oh, this is really interesting okay let's um Let's move it on the side, the box. And uh, oh, there are a lot of things inside. So this is this month's artwork. And it's by Naomi Kani. Um, and she is on Instagram. Uh, I will tag her down below as well. So it's Naomi Kanani. And it's a really interesting style. It's like really dreamlike and uh, kind of surreal and fantasy together the the colors i guess like the colors from this picture will be inside there but we'll see so this is printed on really nice cardboard as well um then we have what is this one Oh, this is like a poster. Upgrade mystery box. 
Yeah, this is like a poster, I guess. Or something like that. Yeah, it's poster. <laughs> it's exactly uh, as it says, it is poster. What else we have? Oh, wow. We have stickers from the same artist. This is really interesting. Yeah, this is definitely something I haven't seen in art supply boxes. It's usually... It's usually like art postcard or something like that and that's it. But here is like even more thought in, into this. I guess this is like a... Yeah, I think this will be like a spoiler booklet, so I will check it later, but it's super thick. This is like crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's super thick and it's the same art as well from Naomi Kanani. Uh, then we have some sheets of paper. They feel like mixed media papers and I have three sheets. Yeah, they're definitely like at least 200 or 300 grams of this paper. Yeah, so we have two pointy brushes and one flat brush. And uh, what does it show? I don't read like in this language. <laughs> I cannot read this, but uh, if you do, you can probably like this all make sense to you. But yeah, these are the brushes I got. I, I already know that there will be paints, so I guess these are for using them with paints. I'm gonna now open this one. It says there is a magic inside, which is exciting. Oh no. Okay, well... <laughs> I always try to open it close, like carefully, but it doesn't work always. Okay, oh, there are so many things. Okay, I, th I think what I'm gonna do, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna secretly just grab some things out. So, oh wow, we have Turner gouache in super small size. I have a little bit bigger size. I think I will show you for comparison. So, I have this size, which is, um, I think this is 40 mil or 20. So this should be 10 or something. So we have jet black. Oh, I'm so excited that I got like this box and uh, I'm super happy that I got approached by upgra upgrade. So this is really nice. So what else we have? Oh, we have bigger size in white. Oh, that's perfect. Um, so we have white in bigger. We have permanent scarlet. Then we have upper red, which is super pink color. I'm not sure if I like it, <laughs> but um, it's great definitely for mixing it with something else. Then we have sky blue. We are getting a lot of gouache paints. This is permanent yellow, permanent lemon. Okay, I think that's it for the paints. Um, we have like this nice, small and cute sponge. Uh, I was actually trying to buy one of those in the past and I don't have any, so this is really handy. Um, Oh, then we have, what is that? We have mechanical pencil. Wow, this is so, super fine. So this is by Pentel, opens and it's 0 0.2. So this is really amazing. I love mechanical pencils. So I'm happy that they included mechanical pencils. Um, what else we are getting? So then we have Pilot GTEC C4. I think this is gel pen or something like that in black. Uh, also, really fine. Okay, so we have that one. And the last but not least, we have pipette. 
I think that's how you call it in UK or US or any English speaking country, pipette. If not, then um, I need to check out, but yeah. So this is really cool because I have another one, but it's always really hard to clean it. So <laughs> now I will have another one and they're a little bit different, I guess, different structure like these art supplies. I will definitely going to use them. Um, as you know, I love gouache. So this was like the perfect box to introduce this upgrade brand to me. And uh, I'm really excited for trying and creating artwork with these pieces. Um, there is this journal, I guess. So let's browse through a little bit. It's a lot there, as you can see. So I will try to be quick. <laughs> so there are chapters. Oh wow, there are chapters. And oh wow, this book smells really nice. Oh yeah, <laughs> like a new freshly printed book. So I guess chapter one is about art supplies. So this is, so these brushes are spe specially made, especially made for using with Turner acrylic gouache. Oh wow, that's really nice. And there are two texts, one is in English and one is in the German because this company is from Germany. So that's really nice to learn a little bit more. Uh, these are high quality acrylic gouache and these have five smaller tubes and one bigger one, which is really nice. What else is here? So this is linked with the bot turner. Oh wow, we even have like a color chart of all of the colors they have. And that's a lot, like they have so many colors. All of the series are in this page. So then it's Pilot Pen, this one. And uh, I think it's 0 0.4 millimeters, which is amazing. It's super thin pen, which is really nice. Oh wow, and they have even more different colors for these gel pens. That's really interesting. And this pencil, mechanical pencil. Oh, I just noticed. Are they showing the prices? Oh, yes, they do. So this gel pen costs four pounds, no, four euros. This um, mechanical pencil costs 980. Wow, that's crazy. That's a lot. Oh, so this is um, the paper is fa from signed Cotbird's Mill. Uh, I know that brand. I haven't tried any of those those papers so that's really exciting and apparently it's hot pressed watercolor paper oh that's good to know no like i thought it's like a watercolor paper but not really because usually i am familiar with cold pressed watercolor papers and those have like this texture and this one hasn't so now i know that um, it's actually really fine and good quality watercolor paper and, ah, this is eyedropper. Okay, this is the name of the this thing. <laughs> Which holds up to one milliliter of water. No, it's a pipette. Is it pipette or is it eyedropper? Or is it both? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, if you know, let me know in the comments. Is it like eyedropper or pipette? Yeah, <laughs> so I'm just a little bit confused about the wording here. Um, what else? Oh, this the natural sponge. Yes. So this is artist. I will definitely read more about her. I think I will use one of the papers to cut it in half and try add all the art supplies together and see how it works and the layering. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, uh, I'm back again and I have, so I have a cup of water <laughs> with me. I think I will use one of the brushes provided and uh, just see how all the colors look together. I will probably not test um, 
white because that's white <laughs> I, I feel like this is like with having these primaries it's great for pushing artists to mix their own colors which is really nice initiative this is the yellow color let's try opera red it will be probably like pink or something bright so i'm a little bit scared of this color <laughs> yeah it looks like fluo fluo pink or something i don't like this color if i'm absolutely honest but um, it's here so i need to deal with it <laughs> maybe i can use it as an undertone or mix together with like I don't know blue to make like this deep kind of vibrant violet or make vibrant orange or something like that these are nice size for traveling I guess if you are in a planner you could use them and not bring too much weight into your I don't know art supplies box when you're traveling or maybe even going abroad. Okay, then we have sky blue. While those colors are drying, I'm gonna explore what else there is. And uh, I think I'm gonna start with this uh, Pilot Gel C4. Um, <laughs> uh, gel pen, I guess. Wow, it's so thin. It showed that it's 0 0.4 millimeters, millimeters, but it's it's really fine. It's like um, I would say extra fine in font and pen world. <laughs> I think I will do experiment. I will. Um, after some time I will put water and I will see if it's uh, water resistant after it dries or not. So these will be two dots. One will be with water and one won't. I'm gonna use this mechanical pencil which I'm super excited about. I think my... Oh wow, well, okay. I have really hard hand, so when I'm using mechanical pencils, they tend to break. So this will be extra pressure, I guess, because this can break super, super easily. It's really nice to hold this pen, actually. Okay, let's use this eyedropper slash pipette. Yeah, this... Uh, Gel pen is definitely not water resistant. Or maybe I put the water too soon. I also want to see if I could put this pen on top of the gouache. Uh, yeah, this is dried up. So, yep, yeah, it works really well. I guess let's mix a little bit of colors and make like a mini color palette. I guess I will try to make the best of opera red and uh, I don't fancy that color, but maybe I can make it good <laughs> in my case as, as much as I can. And uh, yeah, let's see what I can mix. I think I'm gonna start with mixing green because i love greens but um, as this is a lemon yellow the green i have it's quite vibrant as you can see here um, but i will try something interesting so i'm gonna try to mix that pink inside and see how it will work out it should make the color duller <laughs> If I use that pink in this way, look how muted the color looks now. And it's with pink, so it's not like that 
I don't like that color. It can be used with like in right way and then it's all right for me. So I'm gonna add white and see what color I can get with white. I even love this color as well. So it's like a sage green. Oh, what a lovely color. Yeah, this is definitely a really nice color. Let's mix rust color using that pink. I'm gonna try to make that rusty orange color a little bit more muted, adding this pink. No, not muted, more vibrant, I guess. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, so this looks more reddish, I guess. I'm gonna add white to get like this dusty salmon slash rose petal pink. And you can see like how much, how many muted colors and much, much more I can get using uh, right proportions to get different options. Now I want to make like this dusty blue, blue-gray almost. And now I want to make more blue. And I think I want to make like something much more muted and much lighter. something like that and I just mix all the colors I mixed before together and see how how it will look maybe it's another color I could use in the color palette oh this is a lovely color it's like almost like a mocha like violety gray this looks like Marshall red I guess I feel this could also be great, yep, in this palette. It's similar than that color, but it's a little bit darker and deeper. I'm gonna try and use black uh, and see if it will still not be the standing out color. Because I don't want to make something super bright, I guess. And these are the colors I mixed using these bright tones. And yes, you can definitely mix muted colors with primaries. And the opera pink is actually great for adding vibrancy to it. For example, this is like muted, but more like towards vibrant side rather than muted. And I'm lately into like these pinks, although I usually don't use pinks in my work but i love how they look i'm gonna think what artwork will i create with these paints uh, and i will see you in a bit hello uh welcome to drawing part so it's been like two or three days since i did the swatching of the art supplies and i kind of sketched some characters off camera and uh, i already knew that i wanted to make illustration with like a flower girl and uh, I wanted to get inspiration from red clover as a plant and kind of took this illustration and tried to make a costume out of these um, leaves and flowers so this is what I came up with but of course I will make only one of them and I had the idea to make two characters like two sisters one smaller sister and one bigger one and them interacting to each other so that's what I'm going to do.
this is the final artwork. I decided to put music in the background and not talk because I just wanted to enjoy the process. So I hope you didn't mind it. <laughs> Tell me how you like it. I actually really enjoyed using the sponge and add these textures. And I also tried to make like light up here. So I hope it's visible as well. But yeah, I'm really happy about this subscription box. I don't know if I said it before, but uh, yeah, these are like gouache colors and I love gouache. And also brushes are quite good quality as well, which is nice. And um, I think the only thing I didn't use was this um, pipette eyedropper, but everything else I used and I love this pencil, mechanical pencil. So my inspiration is red clover plant red clover flower so i hope you can see parallels to that one and this one but yeah okay i will see you in the outro thank you for staying this far in this video if you did like it please give a thumbs up it helps me to reach more people and also if you want you can comment down below if you enjoyed this upgrade box and what do you think about mystery art supplies boxes in general i would love to hear your opinion and uh, also i have some news to share so i am doing another store update on my etsy store on 26th of march and uh, i am super excited because i am actually going to sell my first screen printed items i'm going to sell screen printed prints on paper and also on tote bags on and on cotton pouch bags so a lot of exciting things also some stickers so if you want you can um, keep the notifications on when it will happen i will possibly make a community post and also in between this video and next video i'm going to bologna to italy for bologna children's book fair and i'm going to film over there as well so week after the screen printing video i will have bologna video so a lot of exciting things happening quite soon so i'm really really excited and i hope you are too on this note i am really happy and thankful for my patreons who are so supporting me on patreon and i just wanted to say thank you so much for this support it means a lot i will see you next week and i wish you a good day evening morning wherever you are okay bye